Antibiotics are failing. Soon even a paper cut could kill you. Sounds like clickbait, right? But what if it's not? Let's talk about superbugs, bacteria that antibiotics can no longer kill. Why are we losing the power of our most vital medicines? And here's the twist. We might still have a fighting chance because science is not giving up and neither should we. Every year, antibiotic resistant bacteria kill over a million people. In 2021 alone, 1.14 million deaths, that's more than HIV or malaria. Mutants like Klebsiella, drug resistant gonorrhea and MRSA are laughing at our strongest antibiotics. The results? Treatments take longer, surgeries become riskier and medical bills explode. But don't panic just yet. If we act smart, up to 85% of these deaths can be prevented. That's massive. Bacteria have been around for billions of years. They evolve faster than we invent drugs. But why is resistance accelerating now? Three behaviours give bacteria their edge. Overuse. We pop antibiotics for every cough or sniffle, even for viruses where they do nothing. Incomplete treatment. We feel better, stop early, leaving the toughest bacteria alive. Agricultural misuse. Farms overuse antibiotics in animal feed. Resistant bacteria jump from livestock to people. That's natural selection in real time. We're breeding superbugs ourselves. It's time to ditch some dangerous myths. Myth one, antibiotics will stop working completely. Truth, in Europe, almost half of resistance types are now stable or declining, thanks to strict prescription controls. Myth two, superbugs mean game over. Truth, scientists are fighting back with microfluidic systems that boost existing drugs, nanoparticles that punch through bacterial defenses and bacteriophages, viruses that eat bacteria alive. Myth three, nobody's making new drugs. Truth, since 2000, 12 new antibiotics were approved and over 30 more are in the pipeline. Yes, it's slow and costly, but science is moving hard. Today, AI platforms help find the best drug combos in days, not months. New tests, simulating blood flow, identify the right antibiotic faster and more accurately than ever. And guess what? Even farmers are helping. In countries like Sweden and Germany, strict farm antibiotic regulations are working. In Sweden, MRSA dropped from 20% to just 5%. That's not science fiction, that's smart policy. So, what can you actually do? Don't demand antibiotics for colds or the flu, they're viral. Antibiotics won't help. Finish your full prescription, even if you feel fine halfway. Don't let the strongest bacteria survive. Never self-medicate just in case. Only take antibiotics as prescribed by a real doctor. And yeah, wash your hands. It sounds basic, but it cuts the risk of intestinal infections by half. Small actions, huge results. By 2050, resistant infections could kill 10 million people every year. That's an entire city, like London, wiped out annually. The global cost, $100 trillion, but it doesn't have to go that way. Vaccines, new therapies, smart prescriptions, farm discipline. The bugs are evolving fast, but if we evolve faster, they don't stand a chance. And if you're watching this video, you're already part of the solution. Like, comment and subscribe if you believe science can still win this battle. Share this video. You definitely know someone still taking azithromycin for a sore throat.